Hey, Bali. Motherfucker with freaking lance and gun shaft and things that got a neck and stuff and it's just. Oh, uh, hey! What you doing? Oh, I done nothing in particular. Just, you know, hanging out down here with all the cool kids. Not one of those lamos up the stairs. No, not one of the elite G-Rank hunters that get to go in the cool room with the massive man. Yeah, lamos, that's what I said. Who wants to be next to a massive man and make you feel small? <laughs> You weren't staring full only up the stairs or anything, were you? No, I, 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 was, I was just thinking about how uh, lame everyone up there is. So when I when I stop talking to you, you're not going to go back to staring full only up the stairs? Well, I, I'm going to be looking that way, but it's not a forlorn thing. It's it's just an imposing dominance type of thing, you know? Yeah, yeah, no, I, I get you, man. I'll, I'll leave you to it. Thank you. I, I would appreciate being alone right now. Hunters in their stupid elder hall and their giant man. Hey, Lance, man, could Julius come up? No. Sorry, Julius, you suck. I don't want to anyways. Oh, then you can come up. Oh, really? No. That's Dundoma. Cue the Laugh Trap sitcom intro. <laughs> laugh Trap. It's the newest trap in Monster you, Hunter. Yeah. You put a trap down and it just, it just tickles the monster. <laughs> it just giggles them into submission. <laughs> I'm gonna go talk to uh, floppy ears over here. Uh, okay. Ah, <laughs> like, uh, no, it's not worth it. I'll just, I'll just let that one go. <laughs> Speaking of floppy ears, have you seen his immenseness as ears? I have seen every inch of his immenseness. How does he hear sound? Like his ears are like a closed. Fl it's like a, it's like an airlock that's shut. <laughs> like, I just have to imagine he he vents air out of the side of his head every once in a while. Crab. Yeah. Did we both? Get oh no, this isn't the secret area. I thought we both got a secret area. No, 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 no. But we are together. I mean, it is a relatively secret area. There's fish, there's butterflies, there's honey. Why aren't the fish moving? I don't know. You know, if we were playing Monster Hunter World Arise, we'd walk into a zone like this to get a little pop-up from, like, his immenseness going, That looks like a great area for a bonus camp! Also, why are these fish, like, having a battle royale? <laughs> there can only be one! Oh, your fish are very different than my fish. I've got some big honkers in there. Well, we can talk about your big honkers and which one of them is the last fish standing later. Okay. For now, we have uh, ah. dinner. Oh. Ah, Diablos! Diablos! If the deserts, what a strange place to see a Diablos! Really big Diablos! <laughs> wow, look at the size of that Diablos! He's laughing at us. Oh, wait, no! What? It's a purple crab! This whole time it wasn't Diablos? Behold! What you lied to? Plum Daimyo Hermita. That's a Plum Daimyo Hermita. Hey, he has a Diablo shell instead of a Monoblo shell. It's very cool. This is what I've definitely seen before. As a fan of crabs, I know all the crabs. Okay, name five crabs. Daimyo, Plum Daimyo, Shogun, Rust Razor. And Shengaren, technically. Okay. Though I guess he's also he's an elder dragon, but he's also a crab. No, he's not. He's not an elder dragon. He is a he is a Carpathian. Yeah. Oh, is he not? Okay, I thought he was an elder dragon. Okay, fine. Name five real crabs. Horseshoe, King, Spider. Um... Horseshoe isn't actually a crab. Well, I mean, it's called the horseshoe crab. But yeah, but it's not an actual crab. Dungeness. <laughs> Emperor Snow. 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 Cra snow. Cra you. I mean, a snow crab is a type of crab. That is the name of a type of crab. Yeah, but you could have gone Yeti crab if you're going to think of snow. That requires me to know the Yeti crab. You do know the Yeti crab. It's the crab that Crabrawler is based off. The, the white crab in Pokemon that you like. Oh, yeah. That, that must mean that I know the Yeti crab. Coconut crab? Yeah, it's coconut crab. I mean, you didn't even get hermit crab. That's like a basic crab. Well, I, you said name five, not name the specific five you're thinking of. <laughs> You know, coconut crabs have killed people. And they also kill coconuts. I, okay, but I feel like one of those things isn't as severe as the other thing. Depends if you're a coconut It's or not. not like they're named people crabs, you know? Like, the coconuts are kind of an expected casualty of their existence. I think that's very dependent on who you're asking. Because, like, coconut crabs swarm over the islands, and some people have, like, fallen asleep and just been, like, swarmed and, like, eaten by coconut crabs. Quite gnarly. Good. Good. More food for my crab brothers! If the crabs can kill a human, then that's impressive enough that they deserve it. <laughs> they deserve the kill! Well done! Good show, old crabs! I do like his like his his more conal strafe rather than just a left to right right strafe. He's that's also more, much more, more active dangerous. and fast and agile and you know he can do the Yeah. And purple, which I and like. And purple. His colour scheme's gorgeous. Oh yeah, he's, he's a lovely crab. I think I honestly do prefer him to base Daimyo. Well, yeah, I mean, generally one like this, it's just basically a, 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 it's not a massive change, but it is just notably an upgrade, oh, I think. Oh, 
Come on! I don't think there's anything I would say is better about Daimyo than, than this in particular. I guess you could argue that red is more of a classic, classic crab color, but that's more like animated crab than actual crab. You having fun with your, your Googling device? Yeah, I'm checking my coconut crab. So yeah, yeah, so researchers found a fractured skull in coconut crab territory, and the cause was death was determined that coconut crabs will essentially just smash their head in because they thought it was a coconut. Okay, well, I mean, they only found the skull? <laughs> well, obviously, you know. They... It sounds like it sounds like it took them a long time to actually come across this. Like, how do they even know for sure that's what happened? Well, we have good death technology. Like, they don't even know who it was that died at that point. Like, who, what is this? Inf what, what is, this is such a, a, an incomplete story. Also, I love this little um, little tidbit here of... Uh, oh, I'm stunned. Coconut crabs are generally no threat to... You can't die while I'm giving you coconut crab facts. I think that's the most likely time for me to die if you're just sitting in the camp. It's so boring! <laughs> no, it's more that I'm, I'm just fighting by myself and then I got stunned, which I said I was, and then he just killed me because I was stunned. And they too shot us at this point, really. Hey, getting stunned is what killed me, so... Uh... I didn't say that you shouldn't have died. Oh god, I think he's seen me. I think he's seen me. Con, 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 he's right, con, but he's right, con. Yeah, that's fine, he's, he's not gonna hurt you, he's just gonna leave. Wait, what? Yeah. Crab thing. <laughs> Why did the combat music start then? He just threateningly walked all the way over and then passed me into the next zone. Well, yeah, he just wanted you to think it was a dangerous moment. Why is it like you sharpen your weapon with glop? Glorp's quite good at sharpening things. Have you seen his claws? I didn't realize you had a hard beat. Yeah, sometimes he's hard, sometimes he's soft. It depends what weapon he's attached to. Check this. Coconut crabs are generally no threat to humans, but they are attracted to human flesh. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Same. I do what? You're no threat to humans, but you are attracted to human flesh. Yeah, that, that sounds pretty accurate to me. That's a pretty standard <laughs> existence. Why is one of the most searched things? Is a coconut crab stronger than a lion? <laughs> what? <laughs> I had to guess I'd say no. Uh, oh, interesting. So a coconut crab pince is a, a roughly equivalent to the bite force of a lion. Oh, okay. I mean, that's cool. I mean, I guess inherently if they have to get through coconuts, that, that, that sort of makes sense. Yeah, coconuts me. are pretty... But pretty just the phrasing of, is a coconut crab as strong as a lion? Yeah, I feel like more sp specificity is needed on that one. <laughs> yeah, it's quite... A, oh, my God. Rise. Oh, no. No. Oh god, I'm being crabbed! Got it! Well, if there's, oh, one, if there's one way to go. Oh, this, this is, is how that man went! I'm gonna get found with a fractured skull! <laughs> oh! I think it's more than just the skull. From, did I flinch him out of that? Because he just sort of sat there for a second after. No, he just completed the animation. Oh, okay. And then he just decided to have a, a nice, exhausted chill afterwards. I love that he's just called Plum. Like, they were like, purple's too, too, too on the nose. Let's go with plum. Well, no, it has to be some sort of fruit for sure. Purple's are plum. Purple's are plum? Yes, purple's are plum. Purple's are plum. God, his little spin while in Ow. his defense ball and then blast and move? What a guy. Yeah, it's pretty solid. I thought this would be a nice little crabby warm-up, but he's proving to be the whole main well, course. Well, I mean, generally, crab is the main course. If you have crab as an appetizer, then you're not going to have much room left for the rest of anything. You can just have a little amount of crab. You don't have to have a full fucking crab. Okay. See, I've, I've tried that before, where I thought the crab was an appetizer, and then they just delivered me a whole crab, and I'm sitting there eating an entire Sorry, crab. And they everyone's delivered me, at me a whole crab. <laughs> It's just a restaurant. They've, they've got a crab appetizer. I'm like, I want some crab. So I got the crab appetizer. They give me a whole fucking deconstructed crab. I just, I wouldn't describe a way to bringing food as a delivery. <laughs> like, it's technically correct, but I feel like it, it gives they a wrong deliver impression. Deliver the food to the table. It's, it's the job. But they put the crab on the table, and then I'm just sitting there slowly eating an entire crab, and they're not bringing the, the like the main courses to everyone else, because I'm still eating this fucking crab, and I'm just like, what is happening right now? This isn't regular. What have you done, restaurant? <laughs> this isn't regular. Well, you're not supposed to give a whole crab as an appetizer. I'm there confused about life. I just like to imagine it's a live crab from how you describe it. They brought me a whole crab, and I'm just dealing with this whole crab well, I mean, they put they on my table. They basically served it inside of the shell, so... <laughs> So it was basically, like, it's all the pieces of a live crab on the table. What is he doing? Walking back and forth while I sharpen. Oh, he had to get, oh, to, he needs to, get to the dig designated spot. digging spot. Yeah, yeah, the designated digging location. Well, I mean, he probably has a tunnel network, and he just had to find the entrance, you know? That's what I said last time when tunnel. you were like, ah, they've got to go to a specific dig spot. Well, that's what I think this time, so it's, it's weird that you brought it up on the other side. Welcome, everybody, to Plum Facts. Plums are the second most cultivated fruit in the world. 
which I find surprising and I don't interesting. Believe that? Yeah, I don't. I, I genuinely don't believe that without proof. <laughs> you can't not just as a plum fact, man. What do you want? What do you want from me? That's why it's a fun plum fact because you wouldn't believe plums are the second most cultivated fruit in the world. That's because I don't believe it. I think it's because they are grown everywhere but Antarctica, so they just have so much representation. That's another plum fact, by the way. Yeah, but there's other fruits that are like that. Uh, how how tall would you guess the average plum tree is? Six feet. Thirty-three feet. I don't believe that either. You're just lying to me. Man, do you like go to lectures and then just keep putting your hand up and be like, I don't believe you! You don't have like a, 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 a placard in front of you that says Professor Plum. <laughs> I'm a PH Plum, motherfucker. You best know I know what I'm talking about. Okay. I would watch a show about PH Plum. Well, yeah, but it'd probably be pretty acidic. All parts of the fruit, except the pit, are edible. That's true about a lot of fruits. Feels like but, a, a quite yeah. Feels like quite an obvious plum fact. Yeah, that one. That, I mean, I uh, realistically, that is a fact about plums. However, it's not really like a surprising plum fact. That's like if you were like, if you peel a banana, you can eat the whole thing. Technically, you can eat the peel. I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> Oh, that was a very, very close bout. I was almost out of stamina. Well, you should have let me do it. Just leave me alone. I have been the focus of his wrath for large time amounts. Well, then maybe if you hadn't mounted him, that wouldn't have happened. Oh, he's, he's upset. I don't know if I would describe that as upset. Sorry, he's crippled and, and trying to desperately get away. <laughs> I feel like upset really underplays the limping animal. <laughs> Look at him, he's so, so sad. Oh my god, this next fact actually is quite a mind-blowing, so... Okay. So, don't laugh at me. Okay. Why do you think that this Damiohermitar is called Plum Damiohermitar? Because plum trees have two trunks? No. no it's not a trick question. I, I just, the, the, the obvious answer... Because he's purple. Yeah, that's what I thought. But this plum fact has just made me reevaluate my uh, my interpretation. Yeah, plums the, aren't supposed to be purple, are they? No, that's not the plum fact. The colour... <laughs> Like, you fucking idiot, it's not the plum, fuck you! <laughs> the, the plum, the colour plum, is named after the fruit. Yeah. He's not called plum because plums are purple, he's called plum because plum is an official colour, so named after the fruit. There's an extra step. Well, I mean, yes and no, because he's, he's still called plum because plums are purple. Yes, but it's not like, there's a, there's a middle, there's, plums are purple, so he's plum. No, it's plums are purple, so a colour officially exists called plum, so he's called Plum after the color, which is named after the fruit. I, I feel like that middle step doesn't add much. See, I actually really like, I think that beam is weirdly easier to dodge. Because <sighs> you just move a little bit to the left or right and then it won't hit you. Oh my, just, I can't stop being hit by this fucking crab. Uh, I don't know how to recommend fixing that, honestly. Are we good? Are we all, are we all calm now? Can we all just please? Just, just die, maybe? Uh, I mean, I'd rather that we all didn't do that. Yes, this is it! This is it! End him! End his plummy rain! Yes, sir. <laughs> hey, look, the rain is purple, but it's specifically the color of plum, which is named after the fruit plum. Hey, I guess this crab's dad must be the king crab. Collaborate? Which would make him a prince, and therefore the rain is purple. Okay, okay, that, that took quite a lot of going, but... You, yeah, we, yeah. we got there though, right? Yeah, you know. <laughs> See, I did a music, I did a music thing. I think with him being dead, he's probably the crab formerly known as a prince. <laughs> oh, he was a gold crown. Plum D Hermitar, my favorite One Piece character. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. So, shut up. Lo, behold, and witness for his immenseness wishes to speak to little old us. Are you sure? I think he just got a new tattoo. <laughs> Should I be concerned that we're eating and getting items before talking to him? <laughs> well, you know. What do you think the, the the challenge to get to G2 is? His immenseness. His fucking immenseness in the arena. Oh, God. Harumph, young hunter. I would first like to applaud you for all your marvelous achievements to date. Oh, I didn't realize we were dating achievements. With each success, you have shown us a glimpse of the greatness that lies within you. You're going places! I can sense yeah, it! Yeah, we're going to various maps and killing different monsters. You mean, you can immense it? <laughs> Alright, our first G-Rank Urgent Quest. Hoo-hoo-hoo! 
How yeah. urgent is it, though? We're gonna become G2 hunters. How urgent is it? Because, like, I sort of need to go to the bathroom, and it takes a while to get this armor set to the point where I can do that. Look, you can you can go on yeah. the way. Do you know how hard it is to get this armor set off to a point where I can functionally do that? I don't think there's a bathroom on that ship, <laughs> and I don't want to be just, like, dropping a deuce off the side. That's the real dung bomb. Please stop. <laughs> I... I'm very concerned that G-Rank Srogios is going to be too much. It might. I mean, I'm struggling to d do anything of relevance right now, personally. But hey, if we can kill him, then we can keep killing him, and then we can upgrade our weapons, so... That would be nice. Haha! -ha! Okay, you just you just take my job again. Well, you clearly weren't hitting him enough, so... Well, it's because I was getting my extracts, which I now have. I think he might be angry after this. I think that's very likely. Yeah, he's angry after this. Oh! However, I cut off his tail. Well, so. isn't that coochie coochie coo? What, what do you think I am? Some sort of baby? <laughs> no, I think you're a, a tickle trap. Oh no, not a tickle trap. <laughs> it... There's so many traps I've never encountered before. No one suspects. Expects. Suspects. Expects. Sex pest? Yes, no one expects the sex pest. <laughs> that sounds like the worst line for the worst superhero. <laughs> Villain, surely. In his own story, he could be a hero. Oh, stop throwing your scales at me! Is it throwing, really? Ow, ow! His random just foot like touch did so much damage. No, he keeps moving. He's not a, he's not a cow. I don't know why I that. <laughs> I don't know why I count that. I just felt the not only is he not a cow, that. but you're not a cow, so I'm not sure what was up with that. <laughs> Move! It's fun to say. Oh, he fell over in a whistle. In a, he's a whistle? I was meant to say his pain sounds like a whistle, but he just fell Woo! over in a whistle. I am bleeding, so I'll leave this down to you. Oh man, you want to go get like a bandage? We don't have to be hunting right now. No, I'm just going to bend over for a few seconds. Oh, I've been grabbed! Oh, I don't know how to help you with that. Oh, no, no you're good. <laughs> He's so dumb! His own wind pressure landing to do the grab flinched huh? me out the grab! Ow. Silly little parrot wife. I'm going to need to uh, just back into a corner for just a moment here and heal. See, I feel like we're able to do a lot of damage, but he's, um... That almost one-shot me? Yeah, that's what, that's what I was going to follow that up with, is, uh, it's very hard to, uh, take hits from him. I'm going to step out, and I'm going to have a max potion, then I'm going to step back in. God, Stregios is so infinitely yeah. easy with a second target. I didn't quite go where I wanted to. Do you please stop flashing me? Uh, no, I mean, you told me to go to the bathroom on the way. Oh my god, it's so much damage! There we go. Well, you've got a break. Oh, I might die for this, but it's worth it. I missed. It wasn't worth it. It's definitely not worth it then. Well, actually, did I miss or did he dodge? That's the real question. I don't know. Did you know that he was going to move? You can kind of assume that most things would try and avoid being hit. Then I guess you could say that you missed if you knew he was going to try to dodge. Like, a penalty in football, if it gets saved, they still describe it as being missed. Which I feel like really downplays the key position. Yeah, that, that seems like an incorrect statement. I don't think there's many sports that would do that. <laughs> oh, he missed the penalty! No, it was saved. Yeah, I mean, if, if it didn't go within the goalpost, then sure, it was missed. Otherwise, yeah, that, that, that was saved. I mean, I guess maybe because it's like... The shooter's like 80% advantage. Like, it's a weird anomaly if it gets saved. So maybe it's like, it's so... For it to even be saved... For it to even be saved, that's a fuck up on your shot. You know, maybe that's why it's missed. He missed the opportunity, you know? Oh, the ball just evaporated. Yeah, that can happen, I hear. Oh, man, he missed. I didn't even do that. The, the ball missed this plane of existence. Uh, yeah, you look like you should not be here right now. Oh, God, what do I do? Leave? I can't leave. I'm bleeding. Uh, sit still for a while and then... Oh, I did. Wow. How <laughs> ironic. That's a, that's a very crazy twist of events. <laughs> yeah, honestly, that was really, like, that's it. It's a shocker, it's that one. It's that like, one. I'm there just, like, looking at your health bar, like, okay, you're fine, and then I look up and I'm just dead. <laughs> a real interesting turn of events. <laughs> Ooh, he dropped an air blade. Ooh, how nice. Oh, I can't believe he had a public bathroom hand dryer attached to his body. I'll get it. <laughs> look at that, you know those, um hand dryers that you like put you like they just you don't have to just touch anything yeah like, I, I know what a hand dryer turn on is. automatically and then yeah. blast you with air well one of the most yeah. common ones the brands that i see is called an air blade 
So interesting. Whenever I see Stregios Airblade, I just think of drying your hands in a in a public. Toilet. I can't say I've committed to memory the the common brands of ev- public oh, washroom. Yeah, it's, a, it's a Dyson Dyson Airblade. Oh, I mean Dyson. I that's that's a common brand for a lot of things. It's a brand for uh, vacuums as well. I think I would say that's their most common product. Yeah. Well, you say that, but you also said that their their the hand dryers are everywhere. So it wouldn't surprise me if there's actually more of those than the vacuums. Because the vacuums are like a, a, a private domicile thing. <laughs> private domicile. All right, Jesse. Sir, this is a private domicile. <laughs> oh! <laughs> no yelling! Not allowed. I was about to super sweep. That totally would have flinched him again. Oh my god, no yelling! No yelling allowed. No! <laughs> and after all that... God, we are ruining this Seregios. Yeah, so aside from the, amount, the just sheer amount of damage he's done to well, us. Well, you know, ruin one way, ruin the other way. It's how it happens. Call it Ruiner Seregios for a reason. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, hop down. Oh. Where do you think you're going? Oh, cool. I don't know what this camera angle I've got. It's very dramatic. It does look like it from the, the corner of my eye. All right, nail the mount, and then we kill him. That's generally the plan. I really like mounting Seregios. I feel like he gives a lot of telegraph to his grab on and hold me animations. Why is this zone desaturated? Yeah, I was just thinking that. This is not how it looks normally. Like this is a, like what is ha- like why Well, I mean, our like hunters cool also look weird. Like it's not just the zone itself, it's the monster and us as well. Like everything is currently desaturated yeah, here. Like I'm really confused. What is up with that? Is it just like because they knew he was going to die here and they wanted to add some drama to it? Like I don't I don't know. All right. Success. Sure is. Sure is. We're now going to be G2 hunters. Oh, that's nice. I wonder if we'll be added to an esports roster. All right then, ladies and gentlemen, that's Mr. Plum done, and G rank almost upon us. G rank well, I mean, two it is even. upon us. G rank two. Yeah, the, rank two. It's gonna say we're, we're in G rank. rank. I'm Thank you for joining this. Now. Subscribe if you wanna. I guess. Yeah, it's up to you. Uh. <laughs> Consider supporting the future of the channel on Patreon down below. Until we meet again, a good. Bye. Goodbye. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice. To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage. Is. Uh, goodbye.